Efendim son konuşmacımıza geçiyoruz. Japonya'dan Edward pardon. Pardon. Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nden Leon Ying bizlerle beraber olacak. I want to personally thank uh, the Universal Brotherhood and the Manana Supreme Foundation for this honor to be part of this global call to world peace. I also personally want to thank my dear friend, Marge, and regrettably, Yulia and Jenny, who are not here to be with us, but it's through them that I came through this amazing journey here today, so I have to especially thank them. And to my local hostess and guide, translator, burial, and uh, brain is dead. Uh, Tunde, I especially have to thank for entertaining me for the last few days and showing me just how beautiful Istanbul is. I have to especially thank them. Thank you. So humanity is indeed going through a great evolutionary change and invariably there's going to be growing pains to endure. Hence it is most important that collectively we endeavor to share the pain and the joy of this new coming. I am the creator of our collective, a global alliance which has very synergistic goals and aspirations to that of our hosts specifically on the attainment of the all-powerful knowledge and using it for the force of good in achieving the global peace. And as you probably know from my little bio, I am actually a nuclear physicist, so I come from, call it the dark side. As with the knowledge book, we have published many manuscripts to detail the beautiful and factual truth to those that search for knowledge and peace. And everything, uh, my co-panel has said, and I wasn't aware of uh, his incredible you know, survival from cancer, but he does emphasize also the scientific side, which is the side that I'm going to obviously discuss today. So our collective is a global alliance of activists, artisans, and artists dedicated to achieving goodness upon Earth through our collective humanitarian peace and nature missions. We operate a unique holistic model that integrates business, charity, and media intended to enrich the lives of all humankind, strong or weak. Our all-encompassing approach manifests richness in the major aspects of life, including in enlightenment, education, economics, and yes, even in entertainment. We believe that everything in existence are interconnected. And just as a butterfly wings can influence a hurricane, so too can humanity affect the cosmos and vice versa. The holy trinity of our collective wellness is achieved through the perfect balance of mind, body, and soul, both for the individual humans and the collective organism that is our world. Now, on the mission of peace, which is obviously the title of this forum, Call to Peace, that's the core of this conference. Our collective has many prominent champions on this cause, and I just want to highlight some of them here. Global Empowerment Movement, founded by Dr. Queen Blessing Itoy, is dedicated to empowering the lives of victimized African immigrants communities. In fact, she just hosted uh, last month a UN event with uh, the First Lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Asha Barari. Museum of the Future Foundation, founded by Teresa Nackley, is dedicated to bringing peace to the troubled Golan Heights, upon which is part of her ancestral home, dating back to biblical times. As with global empowerment movements, this member of our collective are also officially registered NGOs at the United Nations. ASCA Foundation, founded by 
Fadus Aska, a prominent Jordanian journalist and political activist, is dedicated to causes of the refugee crisis compounded by the Syrian civil war. And We Can Save Children, founded by Vincent Lin, a famous movie star and musician, is dedicated to stopping the worldwide enslavement of children. In fact, the UN report that in these troubled times, there's actually more people in slavery than at any time in history. That's a damning statement for current humanity. Now, an example of our collective holistic approach to aiding an entire nation is our mission to Nigeria, the most populated nation in Africa. We actually went on two delegation uh, this, earlier this year in January and March. Here's our collective international trade delegation. Uh, we met NMPC, which is the sixth largest oil producer. Yes, I am into clean energy, by the way. But we were assisting NMPC to implement a national world-class healthcare system for Nigeria. Our collective are also proudly received a humanitarian award from the Presidential First Lady of Nigeria, Asha Barari. And as with our collective operating model to marry business, charity, and media, our exploit were widely publicized on national and international press. Now I get in, into an area which I'm more comfortable with, although peace is, of course, extremely important. But like I said, I'm a scientist, and that is the area of expertise that I'm more comfortable in. So, knowledge is, of course, humankind's most powerful tool and our means to evolve to high levels of existence. This is indeed a new world coming with renaissance and new mathematics and new science, which I'll go into, that will lay the foundation of new governance and, dare I say it, even a new religion. Now, Darwin was partially correct when he put forth his theory of evolution based on nature's survival of the fittest. However, we are now in a new technological eon where it is now humanity's survival of the smartest. Words are indeed powerful, so I just want to spend a little time reading out these meaningful sayings for each of the new beginnings. For new mathematics, love can blind, logic cannot. For the new science, facts are in the numbers, meanings are in the words. For new governance, we are the people for the people. And for the new religion, knowledge is my Bible, truth are my commandments. Now, thank you, thank you. Now, new governance needs new updated commandments geared for our modern beings. These are the 10 underlying core principles of moral fortitudes upon which our collective agrees to abide, to attain enlightenment and goodness in our behavior towards our fellow kinds and towards nature. So, one, we shall seek justice and righteousness within ourselves before we can judge others. Two, we shall allow without dissent for religious worshipers believing in love before hate and freedom before slavery. Three, we shall not commit harm against innocent souls, use force only in defense and without cruelty. Four, we shall not steal the possession of others, be it property or creativity. Five, we shall seek to protect the weak, support the meek, and use our strength and courage to build admiration and not oppression. Six, we shall lead by example and not coercion, allow for the diversity of all peaceful life without discrimination. Seven, we shall not submit falsehood nor make claims through untrue facts and wrongful acts. Eight, we shall not needlessly destroy any benevolent creation of humanity or nature. Nine, we shall oppose warfare and conquest and only occupying lands in rightful manners that can be justified by increased work. And 10, which is obviously relevant for this, the knowledge book, 
we shall seek to seek knowledge and wisdom, for only truth will lead to eternal survival and higher evolution. All right. So now I get into an area where I consider myself an expert. So the first part of it will be on the new mathematics, based on my discovery of a new number theory that has enabled the finding of many solutions to previously unsolved math problem. And I know that those that have read the knowledge book, it does emphasize the importance of science and technology to the development of humanity. So this new math which I've created, the Gobatch conjecture has remained unsolved for over three centuries until these new solutions. And the college conjecture was also proclaimed to be uncrackable until now. Even the mystery of the famed Fibonacci sequence and golden ratio has been unveiled by the discovery of this new numbering system. Now I have published manuscript available on these new mathematics for those interested in this profound research. And the ultimate cosmic secrets to life itself, which come from these numbering system, will be announced at the end of my presentation. Now along with the new mathematics, comes new science. This new science will open up the horizon to undiscovered realms. The proposed theory that our cosmos exists as twin universe, so those that always keep asking me why I do this sign when I have my photo taken, now you know. It's not just a fancy work of science fiction, but it's based on provable, I repeat, provable facts, and I'm an experimental physicist, not a theoretical physicist, an experimental physicist. In fact, it is the only scientific theory that can be qualitatively and quantitatively explaining all the current unknowns of our universe. This list compares what current mainstream science cannot, I repeat, cannot explain and what this new science can. Okay? And all this is published work as well. So I just gave you a brief summary of this area. Uh, now, these are not just mere bold claims. I have, as with my new mathematics, published my research for all to ex examine, including my fellow physicists. Now, over a decade ago, when I brought about this new science, there were my scientific colleagues that would turn away or just laugh at me. But now, I'm happy to say that those same scientists now Mainstream science is coming around to these truths, to these beautiful truths. And they are now jumping on the proverbial wagon and opening discussion. So you may have heard a lot of documentaries now about multiverses and parallel universes. Well, they're no longer laughing. They're actually taking these concepts seriously. Because as I said, only this multiverse, N equals 2, the twin universe, can explain all these scientific unknowns. Okay? And in fact, that's what originally attracted me to the knowledge book. I have to admit it, I went to, thanks to Marge invitation and people at New York, I went to one of the sessions. And where there's coincidence, where there's fate, but one of the readings that they took emphasized the importance of science. That pricked my curiosity, that made me sit up, that made me say, I want to listen more. So the cosmos allowed me to listen to what's in the knowledge book. So, it was fake. So, obviously, new religion is very, well, religion is controversial, as you may all know. But uh, this new religion is still very much about God, okay? So, it is about God. So, I'm not trying to change that emphasis. But in, in my scientific terminology, I describe it as a single omnipotent consciousness. And with the modern flavor of the new governance, the new mathematics, and in this new science that I've described, I'm using a very technological cutting edge to even this evolving religion that I'm putting forward. Okay? To me, anyway, personally, and I believe to a lot of people, faith is no longer sufficient for our cynical minds. So the marriage of facts, which I believe I'm bringing forth with other fellow scientists and techno nerds, Married to faith is what will build a new unbreakable religious belief system to come, along with, of course, the great knowledge book. 
So sustainable religion should not just be about some part-time activity or mundane chore like brushing your teeth. It has to have meaning in our modern day lives. As with the new governance, the new mathematics, and the new science that's been put forward, it too must have relevance to our modern lifestyles and beliefs. Hence, the moral compass of this new religion is not just about a pretty ornaments that you can wear around your neck. This is meant to be practical and meaningful substance to our everyday needs and wants. Now, you see the symbolism which I designed. Uh, by the way, I, I, I didn't copy the great symbolism. Again, I developed this, but of course, Whatever the knowledge came to the universe came to obviously the great book first. So I'm basically copying it, but it came from me independently. But it came to me in the same sign, which is obviously the sign behind me now. So I'm just following in the great path that uh, Manada is uh, introducing in the knowledge book. So I, I you know, obviously I, I have to. But of course I'm interpreting it in my scientific techno manner. So now, the ultimate question that a lot of people are always asking is, what is the meaning of life? Okay, in uh, there was a famous movie by uh, Comedy Moon, being uh, The Life of Brian, which included, but they had, there was another movie me describing about the meaning of life. Uh, of course, it's not funny, but laughing is a part of a life enjoyment, as my panel emphasized. And as with the new governance, with the new mathematics, with the new science and the new religion I just outlined, we are indeed pointing us towards the ultimate answer to the ultimate question. Okay? So, of course, you all know that the DNA building block of all living organisms are the four fundamental bases, which are C, G, A, and T. And our panel here, uh, two of our panelists obviously discussed the, the DNA, that is the structure of humanity, that's the structure of our, of our very soul. Now, my new discovery in mathematics has shown that there's also four fundamental natural numbers. Therefore, not only have my mathematics solved all these great unknowns, like the Kobach conjecture that's been unsolved for three centuries. Again, the work is all public, so you can view it all freely. But it, it's also, incredibly, the DNA just like the DNA, the helical strand that contains the four bases, C, G, A, and T, for all living organisms, all of humanity included, well, amazingly, the new mathematics has the four fundamental numbering system, which I label N plus, N minus, N I, N I, N plus, N I, and N minus I. So the mathematics replicate the DNA four codes that governs all of life. So math is also the DNA of our entire cosmos. So the two are completely interrelated. So, so for those that want to obviously, well, okay, well, you said all these things are proved. Well, I said the works are published, so you're more than happy to search the, the web I'll be more than happy to send you the PDF documents so you can review it all. Like I said, just like the knowledge book, I want to get the truth out, the factual truth. As I said, in my approach is the science, the new math, the new governance. So I want to be challenged. Now, I have presented my scientific fact at scientific conferences. So the good news is the science holds water. It, is, it has a good foundation to it. Now, the last slide, actually, I just put, it, put this in uh, as of yesterday. I wasn't intending to put this slide in. Uh, I actually showed this at, uh, when we had a meeting uh, with Melana, and she pointed out that the last two months I've been on a journey, even though I'm very, the uh, last two months I've been on a personal journey, a spiritual journey of my own. It started off in Singapore, where I went to uh, pay respect to my mother in heaven, and my father, UK, also in heaven. But anyway, uh, this was never planned, so, but I thought I'd just plot this uh, just for the hell of it. And I plotted this path over the two months journey that I took. 
It so happened that it took me from Singapore to uh, Nepal, Bhutan, where I discovered the image of Buddha on a Buddha leaf. Okay, our guide told me that if you see an image of Buddha on a Buddha leaf, it would be very lucky. But our guide said that no one has ever seen an image of Buddha on a Buddha leaf. So I picked the Buddha, I put the Buddha leaf out of the Buddha tree, and miraculously, if you see at the top corner, there is an image of Buddha in the Buddha leaf. So hopefully that means I'm lucky. But anyway, I continue my path, which uh, culminated in new uh, logic charge, which uh, one is, is God real. So like I said to you, I'm coming through God through facts, not from faith. I arrogantly thought that if I could scientifically prove God, that was all I needed to do. But when I had the great meeting, I realized that that was not the case. Manana educated me, this arrogant physicist, that no, I needed more than just facts. And she's absolutely right. So, but that's the path in life that I'm continuing. So along with logically uh, proving a real God exists, I also asked the question scientifically, is God needed? So if you have a God, do you really need it? Okay? And then following that is the final trilogy of my, is God good? So anyway, I uh, created this logic chart, and that is the foundation of the new book, which I'm simply calling God, uh, that I'm finishing right now. But anyway, the reason why I want to show this chart is the final part of this journey, which I thought was the end, because I thought I'll, I'll solve all the problems, I'll prove God scientifically, I'll write this scientific paper, I've done my journey. Uh, and the tenth focal point, and again, I, I wasn't counting this, people point out, do you know there's ten focal points on here? And the tenth focal point is here in Istanbul. So again, it is, call it a miracle, call it fate, call it coincidence. As a mathematician or physicist, I'll probably try and calculate the the odds, that's how boring I am, I'm afraid. But anyway, uh, I am blessed to be here. I am blessed to, uh, to know that this is not the end of my journey. This is, in fact, the beginning of my journey. So, so for that, I thank you all. And I obviously thank my fellow panelists who had to put up with me for the last few days. Thank you. Thank you. Efendim son konuşmacı olarak Leon Yinge Amerika'dan gelerek bilgilerini bizimle paylaştığı için teşekkür ediyoruz. İlerleyen vakit nedeniyle her zaman yaptığımız gibi bir özeti bence yapmamızın çok da doğru olmadığını düşünüyorum. Çünkü her konuşmacı zaten e, felsefi anlamda bilgi açısından ve ruhsal zenginlik açısından her şeyleri anlattı. Kendilerine tekrar kuvvetli bir alkışla teşekkür ediyoruz efendim. Şimdi son olarak e, yarışmacılarımızı, e, e, sunucularımızın hepsini buraya alıyoruz, konuşmacılarımızı ve kendilerine ödüllerin verilmesi seremonisine geçiyoruz. Yani son 3-5 dakikaya girdik. Now the last five minutes to get on the table. Okay. No. Efendim, e, panelistlerimize teşekkür ediyoruz. E, Sayın Ahmet Kurtaran'a da bu paneli yönettiği için teşekkür ediyoruz. E, Sayın Vakıf Yönetim Kurulu Başkanımız Sayın Ali Necip Kışladı Beyefendi, e, panelistlere şimdi e, teşekkür belgelerini ve şiltlerini takdim edecek. Buyurun Sayın Kışladı.
Sayın Vakıf Yönetim Kurulu Başkanımız Sayın Ali Necip Kışralı Beyefendi'ye ve panelimize katılan tüm konuklarımıza bir kez daha toplantımıza bu gecemizde şeref verdikleri için teşekkür ediyoruz ve kendilerini yerlerine uğurluyoruz. We thank to all our panelists for their participation and we invite them to their seats. Değerli konuklar şimdi 15 dakika ara veriyoruz. E, bu arada e, hatırlatalım hemen aramızdan sonra geleneksel ödül törenimiz yer alacak ve ondan sonra da Embe Orkestrası'nın konserini dinleyeceğiz. Dünden bugüne 1 Kasım fotoğraf sergimizi lobide ziyaret edebilirsiniz.